the, as a general uh, principle, uh, we believe that it's important to support Ukraine uh, in all possible uh, ways that also included, as you know, uh, uh, bilateral support uh, on a military assistance level uh, from the member states, support which is also um, uh, underpinned by the European uh, Peace Facility, as you know, uh, uh, through, through funding. But on this specific question, um, um, I wonder if Nabila has anything else to add. I mean, Thomas, this is really um, this is really an issue for the member state, and I would I would uh, uh, refer to what Dana just said. When it comes to us, we are determined to to help uh, Ukrainians and Ukraine defend itself, and that's why we have today a total of 3.1 billion under the European facility that is going to cover the expenses for equipment uh, to the Ukrainian armed forces, and they are fighting with uh, their years resistance following Russia's unprovoked, unjustified uh, invasion of Ukraine, and we are responding to the basic and the most urgent needs, and we will continue to do so as uh, long as it is needed. And this is besides all the help that is being given to Ukraine in terms of uh, weapons by the member states.